Vibrava is back in Pokemon Go, and you can now battle it in Tier 3 Shadow Raids. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to solo Shadow Vibrava in Pokemon Go. Now, Shadow Vibrava is a Dragon and Ground-type Pokemon. Both Dragon and Ground are weak to Ice types. So you're looking at Mamoswine, um, you're looking at Galar Darmanitan, looking at Glaceon, you're looking at Sneasel and Weavile and their shadow forms, of course. Those are going to be some of the best counters. So we're going to go ahead, jump in here, use that free pass that you get every single day. And you can also see their Salamance is recommended. There's the Darmanitans, the Mamoswine, and Glaceon. We have a slightly different team. We're going in all Mamoswine plus one of the Darmanitans, a personal favorite of mine. It is a hundo maxed all the way to level 50. Now, of course, if you have Shadow Pokemon, those are going to do absolutely incredible against it. You see there I have a Shadow Mamoswine. If you have a good Shadow Weavile that you powered up, that's another great option. All right, editing Jeff here. Just uh, wanted to hop in real quick. We'll get back to the raid in a second. But as I was going over some of the audio, it looks like the wind was a little bit stronger than I expected. So you might hear a little bit of wind. You might hear a little bit of rumbling. You might hear some odd noises in the background. There are leaves that fall throughout the clip, of course. Um, it's a very windy August day. And that was the only Vibrava raid that I could find. So I'm going to clean up the audio a little bit. We're going to try to take as much of the rumbling and as much of the extra noise from the wind out as I can, but I can't take a ton of it out because if I take too much, then that gets rid of me. And I kind of want to stay in the video because this was a fun one to record. So if you hear a little bit of noise, you hear some, some scratching or some rumbling or some weird sounds coming from the mic, that's from the wind. I'm going to try to get rid of as much of it as I can. I did a little bit of editing earlier. Couldn't get rid of much, so you're probably going to hear it. But bear with me, just enjoy the video, and if you hear a little bit of rumbling, some weird noises, I'm sorry, the wind was not my friend today. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump back into Shadow Vibrava. Now, you can also use Dragon, right? Dragonite, Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza will do a ton of damage and get you a candy bonus. I do not recommend using Dialga in either of its forms because it does have that steel type secondary type and steel is going to be weak to some of the ground moves that Vibrava might have. This is the third of three shadow raids that are out in the tier three in Pokemon Go right now as part of the latest Team Rocket takeover event. We've already looked at two shadow Pokemon that are currently a part of the Team Rocket takeover and now we get to look at the third one, Shadow Vibrava which is also over 10,000 total combat power and is quite a beastly Pokemon. We've already looked at Shadow Manetric and Shadow Nuzleaf, both of which went down pretty easy. So let's see if we can beat by ourselves a solo Shadow Vibrava Tier 3 Raid Boss in Pokemon Go. You can see there Avalanche after Avalanche after Avalanche is doing so much damage. Every one of these we're hitting is taking a chunk taking a chunk, maybe 10, 15% of the raid boss total. And if you go in with the Shadow Mammal Swine, maybe with a couple, three, four, however many you have, you should be able to beat this with no problem. Of the three, this one definitely looks to be the easiest to solo. And that's of course because it is double weak to the ice type moves of Mammal Swine, of Darmanitan, of Glaceon, of whatever ice types you're battling it with. Now, overall, we're not losing too many Pokemon. We just lost the second Mamoswine going in with our third one. If you want to make this a little bit easier, you can, of course, use the gems that you see on the bottom left. We're not going to worry about the gems right now because it's going down pretty easily. But if you're struggling against it a little bit, you might consider using a purified gem or two. Once the Pokemon is subdued, it will take substantially more damage than in its enraged form. And you can see now it's well into the red. We've got right about 100 seconds left. And if we use one or two more avalanches, we should be able to beat it. And let's see, one more, maybe two more. And there we go, Shadow Vibrava 
tier three raid boss soloed in Pokemon Go. You can see the grunt there shaking his head, unable to accept defeat. Two rare candies, a thousand Stardust, a nice 5,000 XP, and final strike. So let's go ahead here and rescue the Pokemon. There we go, Shadow Vibrava at 652. We'll go with a Silver Pineapple, try to get a few extra candies, because Shadow Flygon is actually a pretty good uh, ground type Pokemon here in the game. One jumps out of that first shake. We'll use one more Silver Pineapple and then start working with a Golden Raz. It's gonna dodge that and gonna dodge that. This one's dodging a little bit. No bonus on the throw, but that's okay. Should still be fairly easy to catch. We're gonna go ahead and take it with the Golden Raspberry. There we go, got the excellent throw on the Golden Raspberry on the curveball. Still breaks out. This one's fighting a little bit. Let's see if we can get another excellent throw here. And we do, two excellents in a row on the Shadow Vibrava. One, two, three, and it has been added to our collection. So let's go ahead and check the stats. Stats are not great, but that's okay. This was just a fun one to see if we could solo it. And this is now evidence that you can solo all three of the current tier three Shadow Raid bosses in Pokemon Go. Now these will switch out in a few days and we'll have even more solos to attempt. But just a quick reminder, if you want to solo Shadow Vibrava raids in Pokemon Go, bring your ice types. Bring as many ice types as you can. Power up your Mamoswine, power up your Weaviles, power up your Glaceons, power up your Darmanitans, and try to defeat Shadow Vibrava in Pokemon Go. All right, so that's gonna wrap this video up. If you enjoyed it, of course, same as always, give it a like, comment how you did, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next Pokemon Go video.